Okay, so we've developed all these limit theorems over here, and we've applied the limit theorems to polynomial functions and found out that we can just substitute to evaluate those limits. We don't have to go back to that limit definition. We don't have to actually apply the theorems. It turns out we can just substitute. So the question is this, are there other functions that we can substitute for also? That is, under what conditions is the limit as x goes to a of f of x equal to f of a? Well, it turns out, as long as f is a polynomial function, which we already know, rational, root, trig, inverse trig, logarithmic, or exponential function, and a is in the domain of f, you can substitute. So all of these functions right here work out very nicely for us for evaluating limits. It turns out to be a really easy thing to do because we just substitute. Let's go to the next board and try a couple examples. Let's start with the limit as x goes to 2 of 5 minus x squared. Okay, this is a polynomial function, so this means I can just substitute. This is going to be 5 minus 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, 5 minus 4, 1. So that limit turns out to be 1. Let's take the limit as x goes to 3 of this expression. Well, I recognize this as a rational, ex rational expression, so I have a rational function here. As x goes to 3, this thing is defined at x equal 3, so I'm just going to substitute. 3 squared minus 4 divided by 3 plus 2. I end up with 9 minus 4, which is 5, divided by 5, so I end up with 1. So that limit turns out to be 1. How about the limit as x goes to 1 of square root x squared plus 3? Well, this is defined when x is equal to 1, so it's a, one of my root functions. So this will just be square root of 1 squared plus 3. That will be square root 4, so that will just come out to be 2. And how about as x goes to pi over 2 of 1 half sine x? Well, that's a trig function. That's one of the ones in my list. Sine pi over 2 is equal to... Okay, remember what to do now if you have sine pi over 2? Again, you can always go to your little sine graph. I think this is something everybody should be able to do very quickly. Just draw in a sine curve, one complete cycle. You know, it goes up to 1, down to negative 1. That's pi, that's 2 pi. There's pi over 2 right there. So at pi over 2, my trig function is 1, so I have 1 half times 1. And that's just going to be... 1 half. So that limit, as x goes to pi over 2 of 1 half sine x, turns out to be 1 half. Okay, how about a logarithmic function right here? How about the limit as x goes to e of 4 log x? Well, I've said my logarithmic functions are functions that I can just substitute for, so I'm going to do that. This will be 4 natural log e when I substitute e for x in that expression. Okay, natural log e, remember log, uh, natural logarithm function and natural exponential function are inverse functions, so if I do one to the other, it undoes the whole thing, and I end up with just 4 times 1, which is 4. And here the limit as x goes to 0 of 3e to the x, okay, it's an exponential function, so 3e to the 0, that's going to be 3 times 1, which is going to be 3. So there's a look at some limits that involve polynomial function, rational function, root function, trig function, logarithmic function, and exponential function. All those functions are nice functions, so if you're looking at the limit as x goes to a, and a is in the domain of one of those functions, you can simply substitute.